Hey there, welcome back to the Grandiose Project. Today we are going to be learning how to make a avocado and spinach omelet. I'm just kidding. Actually, we are going to uh, we're going to be uh, learning how to practice studio safety. So, with everything that's happening, uh, we're all going to be indoors for probably some time now and staying at home more often. So if you uh, are an oil painter or you're just getting into oil painting, I want to teach you a tip right now about how to, uh, how to paint inside your house safely and some of the practices that you can learn to, uh, to do that. So I'm going to meet you back over in my studio and I'm going to show you a couple tips of just how to keep your brushes clean and how to uh, do oil painting without having to use any mineral spirits or harsher chemicals. Okay, I'll see you over there. Sorry about the sound in that last clip. It was a little bit of an impromptu idea, and um, anyways, I just thought it'd be fun. So, now that we're back in my studio, and I've got lights and sound and everything all set up, uh, I wanna show you just a quick tip today. I'm gonna show you how to uh, clean oil brushes basically without using any mineral spirits or any harsh chemicals. The big uh, idea behind this is that you're just using the oil that is already in the oil paint. And um, you can clean your brushes this way really easily and uh, you actually don't even need to use any mineral spirits. Now I've had these brushes sitting in here uh, in this bag with just some of that oil on them for probably about three weeks now. Um, and as you can see, I'll get a close up of this. As you can see, um, they are still really soft and in good shape and the uh, paint has not dried on them yet. It's a very simple idea really and it's just that you, at the end of every day that you're painting, you coat the um, brushes with a little bit of this oil. I use walnut oil or I also use safflower oil. Uh, some people use cooking oil and that's perfectly acceptable. I don't like to use cooking oil though because I don't want any residue of the cooking oil to get in my paintings. Although it's probably such a minimal amount that it doesn't matter that much. But I like to stick to safflower oil or walnut oil. I just take some of this walnut oil and I will pour it on the brushes like that. And then I will wipe the paint back and forth like that. And you can see uh, there's still some paint in there from the last time that I painted over three weeks ago. And it hasn't dried in the brush. It's still all just sitting in this oil. So once I kind of clean the brushes like this, then I like to uh, grab a paper towel and just wipe it out. And you can see that there's just not that much pigment left in it. Now I've done this already a few times, but um, the point of this is that I can leave my brushes sitting in this oil for a long time and you can see it doesn't misshape them and it actually keeps the bristles nice and uh, um, wet so that it doesn't, uh, the paint doesn't dry in there. And I just wipe them out like that. Now, when I'm ready to not use these brushes anymore, I'll get them to about this degree of cleanness, and then I will take them over to the sink and wash them with something uh, like dish soap or uh, this brush cleaning soap. This stuff works pretty well. And then uh, I'll wash them and uh, dry them off with a towel, and then I can put them back in my uh, paint rack back here. So that's a quick tip on how to keep your brushes clean and uh, safe in your studio without using any um, you know, dangerous chemicals or stuff that you don't necessarily wanna be breathing in. And um, you know, I thought you might like it and that it would be helpful for you. Uh, leave me some comments and questions down below. Let me know how you're dealing with uh, you know, staying indoors a lot more and and uh, if you're gonna take up some hobbies or learn to do something else. Um, I'm gonna try to start bringing you more videos during this time. Although I am a teacher and I uh, still have to work because I'm now actually teaching my painting courses uh, online. 
and that is uh, that's still going to take up a lot of time. So, um, anyways, if you're interested in some of those lessons, let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll start recording some of my uh, lessons for uh, YouTube. Okay, uh, stay uh, stay safe out there, and uh, I'll see you next time.